Hi guys, um, let's do some speed distance time today, shall we? So we've got Gary, uh, who drove from London to Sheffield. It took him three hours at an average speed of 80 kilometers per hour. Lynn drove from London to Sheffield. She took five hours. Assuming that Lynn drove along the same roads as Gary and did not take a break, we want to work out Lynn's average speed from London to Sheffield. So let's do our triangle. And we've got speed is distance over time. Um, so let's see what we've got. We've got Gary, who drove from London to Sheffield, took him three hours, average speed of 80 kilometers per hour. So we've got time and we've got speed. That means we can work out the distance that Gary traveled. So... To work out the distance, we are going to do speed times time. So we're going to do 3 times 80. So 3 times 8 is 24 at the 0. Distance, so we're doing kilometers per hour. Great. So now we know the distance between London and Sheffield. Um, so let's look at Lynn. She drove from London to Sheffield and she took five hours. So we've got her time, which equals to five hours. And here we worked out the distance, which is 240 kilometers per hour. So we want to work out her speed. So we've got time and we've got distance. We want to work out the speed. So if we want to work out the speed, we're going to do distance divided by time. So speed is distance over time. So the distance is 240. The time is 5, 5 hours. So let's divide. Um, let's do 20. How many fives into 24? And that's 4. So we've got the remainder of 4. How many fives in 40? Eight, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, and because these are kilometers, these are hours. Our answer is already in kilometers per hour.